With our sweltering temperatures, it's difficult to keep plants healthy during summer months in the valley. But here at the county's flood control nursery, district employees are growing thousands of hardy specimens. We've got mesquites, we've got desert willows, those are desert hackberries. All these guys from here on over were started from seed in these pots. Flood control is raising native desert trees from seed to use for the district's revegetation projects. We try to replicate what was out in the area before we did a project out there and disturbed the land. And then we also try to do a little enhancement. Native plants survive in the desert because they're able to find water deep underground. You see, the plants have tap roots. The longer the tap root, the deeper it can drill into the soil. These little guys are planted on Thursday and they're already germinating. A little cotyledon comes up, their first little branches come up. And like I said before, below ground, below the surface here, their little tap roots probably that long by now. Flood control gives its trees a head start by planting seeds in these tall, narrow pots made from 30-inch sections of PVC pipe. Knowing that they drill a tap root down, we thought, why fight that by putting in a container where the tap root has to go around in circles? Because that affects its survivability when you plant it out in a harsh environment. The district has used the tall pot technique for about seven years with great success. The survival rate of the trees averages about 85 percent. These things will never break or fall over or anything. You start with a great foundation 30 inches down, you can't beat that. Tall pot planting is cost effective and environmentally friendly as well. Typical revegetation projects require expensive irrigation systems that can run between $20,000 to $30,000 per acre. But with the tall pot technique, flood control need only use natural rainfall and a moisture holding gel known as dry water. They slice open the bottom of the carton, stuff it into the ground, carton and all, and then they'll come back and replace it every 30 days through the first summer. After that, the trees are on their own. The Maricopa County Flood Control District has planted roughly 10,000 tall pot trees in more than a dozen revegetation projects since 2003. Tall pot planting offers big cost savings. It's environmentally sustainable, and it requires a lot less maintenance. In fact, it's so successful, the district is encouraging commercial growers to use the same technique. You know, installing a, a sprinkler system out there, that's it's labor intense, cost intense. Tall pots, we grow them, we put them in the ground, dry water, after they take off, it's done. It's greener, it's better, it's safer. 